Welcome back to another episode of Mob Psycho. Last episode, we got that country bumpkin that was really rich and came here, and he was a demon slayer, but another joke character. Unless he's not, I don't know. It seems like the way that he was fighting with the sword all day. How many nights and days did he fight the little ghost? I don't know, but where are we going with the story? The story is... Mob Psycho usually kind of starts off slow. That, that, that's what happened in Season 2 also until Sho showed up at the apartment, right? And then everything just blew up and started from there on. Season 3 seems like it's going to slowly set up the premise of, you know, a new problem for Mob in the sense of, like, an existential crisis of he's moving from middle school to high school. What's he going to do? What's his ambitions? What's his goals? But then we still have the broccoli tree, which seems to be slowly growing. You can see at the end, the post credit scenes and little... Little different scenes here and there. They sprinkle in the broccoli cult tree growing bigger and other people are gathering. And Dimple, I don't know if they're faking us out with this one, but I thought that Dimple kind of reformed. I thought that he was supposed to be a good guy. But it seems like he's going to use this uh, broccoli tree cult event to his advantage and maybe start getting a big worshipping. But then it's not like he has his powers right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but it does seem like the end game for season three is gonna be something to do with the broccoli tree cult helmet cycle cult too. It's somehow big enemy threat. Mob somehow shows up as the cult leader, and then something happens. I don't really know. We gotta keep watching to find out though. Let's start this week's episode. Subomi is a two. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Uh. Ew. I've never. You know, with girls like Subumi, Subumi, it's like you haven't gotten much scene of her. But also, this is kind of getting not intimate, but like they're showing us some gross sides of her. <laughs> like, just, it's natural, but like I wouldn't expect this is not coming out of her nose like that. I thought for a second she sneezed on somebody. It's a little yeah. mob. Come save her. So, there's mob. Save her. Save her right now. Say bye, Mob. Nice one, but then Somi's gonna still have to cover her face in front of Mob. Right? No, 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 she has to go. Not you right now. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, he's so thoughtful. Two butterflies floating with each other. I kind of implies, you know, a, a relationship between these two forming or something, but I just don't. I think Tsuomi's not interested in him, as he is to her. Yeah, bye. You know, there's... See you later, it's just a phrase, and Mop's like, LATER? WHEN? Is that the newspaper girl? Not you again. What is it? I should know her name by now, Mezato. I just... Oh? We're going more with the cult plotline again. Yes, let's go, let's go, but he's not interested at all. Who's behind us? Oh, it's her. These two girls are just like using Mob for their, their own gain. I mean, so is Reagan, I guess, but these two. <sighs> I don't like these two. Not at all. I, I They don't care about Mob. At least Reagan does care about Mob sometimes, but these two, they're just using him for their own self gain. Who are you? Oh! Tar! Ex-girlfriend? Not really. There's a bunch of guys watching us, are they? That's three girls? That's four girls, actually, if you count Tsubomi in the beginning. This game pretty popular. A little... I mean... In the span of, like, three minutes, that was, like, four girls. Yeah. I mean... Then again... Tsubomi was by chance. The two after were just... After you f for their own goals. And the last one actually might... Be into him? I I don't know. Me too. I'm ta I've talked to four girls. I I'm popular. <laughs> it's going to his head. It's going. Is this hinting? Is it foreshadowing something? That even Mob, he could. His his like head. It, it could get to his head. Even though they're just showing the context of girls. Not think. No, 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 I think they're looking at Ritsu instead. <laughs> I think they're looking at Ritsu instead. But what if this is setting up for his head to blow up? Not through just popularity, but like through the cult instead. What happens if he figures out a bunch of people are worshipping him? It, I 
I think hearing things. Yeah, it's not you. I think it's Ritsu Mad. Come on, <laughs> his face. <laughs> Wait, what? We had a hundred? Mob on a high horse. One hundred. Dude, your face. You, you, bec you become such a giga chat all of a sudden. This is crazy. So many people have just made so many different meaning out of this, you know, accidents that happen at the end of season two between the clash between the enemy boss and mob and their power is directed into the broccoli seeds in his pocket. And they think they're just worshiping like a god now because they don't understand it. The energy of the people worshiping it's making it grow? Wait, this is Dimple's voice too, isn't it? So he can absorb the broccoli energy and turn into something evil, something for the end game. But I just, I still believe in you, Dimple. Don't do this, man. Then again, this is coming back in full circle because he did start out as a cult leader in the beginning. If you bring Tsubomi into it, it's <laughs> again. Anything for Tsubomi, yeah. His voice changed. His voice completely changed too. This is actually hilarious. Oh my god, look at that chin. Look at that bald chin. Audition. Audition to become a founder? Interesting. Everyone wants to use you. I don't think they need you. They just want to use you. Dimple. Mob, you're still going to stay in the state? Dimple looks a little bit stronger, huh? Yeah, you look different too, but Dimple's like glow. Doesn't it seem more fiery? I mean, it, it was shown that he was absorbing the broccoli tree energy, right? The one that has all the power in the world has no interest in the power. And the people that don't have the power want it, right? That's a... It's a poetic thing. People want what they don't have. Yes. Nice one. Yes, yes, yes. Look at you, you're like, you look, you look much more, <laughs> the blob seems more fire-like. Surprise, Mob, I mean, Mob is able to read through him so easily. I thought that, I, I guess he always did read through Dimple and other people's hearts pretty easily at, at times, even though he's, he seems dense. When it comes to these kind of topics, he does see Dimple right through him. So it's good that we're immediately, you know, settling this with Dimple. The divine tree? No, he hasn't, but explain to us, please. See? Wildlife is sprouting everywhere. Hmm? It's not you, mob. They're looking at him, not you. I'm popular. The two times girls are staring at you is because you're. You, you, Ritsu was there or he was there, like. It's really going to his head. I really hope that this isn't foreshadowing. When he does get revealed as a founder, all that shit's just gonna go to his head. Or is it? <laughs> or is it? Oh god, here he is. There he is again. There he is again. <laughs> his face changing is actually pretty funny. I thought that'd be a one-time thing, but it keeps happening. There we go. But like, even though there's no leader yet, there has to be some kind of main, I don't know, org that's like, organizing all this like a council of people like who's like the main leadership right now like it just seems like everything is just done by everybody but is there really no leader right now there's no secret council that's secretly like taking advantage of this wait mob what's happening there's a bunch of dates everywhere but it looks like we're just getting stood up Mob. Oh, he doesn't. Even, oh, he doesn't even know where the meeting is. Well, that's. I guess. Well, I wanted him to get into the cult plot, but we're still dodging it. What are you doing, Regan? He's watching the stream. Oh, is it over? That's me after I record everything in front of in front of my just eating dinner, just watching streams. Okay, here we. That guy really looks like Mob, doesn't he? I mean, the picture, the 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 cutout. Huh? Sounds like Dimple's voice actor. And he really does look like the cutout image of the Psycho Helmet religion. That has to be Dimple. His face looks really strange though. 
The voice actor? That's simple. And it makes sense what he's trying to do. Jesus. What's all this? The way it's his face and his suit's all like this is creepy. Alright, Dimple's making his move though. And Mob's not gonna see anything. The prove your power. Well, he has been absorbing the power of the divine. I wonder how strong he got. Finally, though, the Psycho Helmet religion plot's going. Okay, okay. I wonder how Dimple assumed this form. Everybody. No. They're all rejecting him. Well, everybody obviously wants the power for him for themselves, but also... Yeah, obviously, no one gives a shit about the actual divine truth. They just want to like, They want, you know, the divine power truth to be ours, but show me your power. Okay, let's see. What are you going to do? I mean, compared to everyone else here, Dimple, I guess, is pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. Ta-da! A tree came out. I mean, a broccoli. A miracle has appeared before you. Bow, peasants. And Mob got stood up. But it, it's uncanny face. It's creepy as fuck, man. And that's the episode. And it's pretty obvious that it is Dimple that's somehow taking this form that looks pretty much just like the cutout of the uh, Psycho Helmet Religion poster. That kind of looks like Mob, but the way that it's all distorted is just so creepy. But obviously, it's got to be Dimple. Everything has been pointing towards Dimple, assuming or like adva taking advantage of the situation. And... He did gain some power from the Divine Tree. I'm not sure how much, but I guess he's getting stronger. I still don't think that at the end, like, at the end of the day, Mob is, Mob could just take care of Dimple like this, so... And and I've been saying, like, in Season 2 at the end, we took out the boss, Klaus, um, Scar's boss, right? And he was super strong. He was competing against Mob head-to-head. -head. That, was, that was fucking crazy. Now, after he's done, do we have any other kind of force that can fight with Mob like that? Dimple with all the power of the Divine Tree, maybe? Or maybe there doesn't need to be some kind of crazy fighting like in Season 2. Maybe it can... The warfare can take in a different form with, I don't know, a massive following and a cult that somehow uh, takes care of Mob. I, I don't really know. If all those people are somehow on board with the cult, could Mob take care of, you know, those innocent people that's been deceived by Dimple? I don't know, but it's finally starting, though. It's finally starting. We're finally getting back. <laughs> to the Cycle Helmet Religion Cult that's been set up since Season 1, right? And then the Broccoli Tree came up and then it's kind of merged together and it's finally taking into place. But anyways, if you stick around this long, if you didn't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push that. My small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.